A darts player bribing a referee? Normally this rarely happens, but this time a referee caught taking money from a darts player, you wouldn't expect it from. Today, we take you through this scandal in the darts world. David Michael Prince, born on the 16th of November, 1968, he carved his niche in the competitive world of professional darts. In 2009, Prince etched his name in the annals of darts history, reaching the last 16 of the Winmar World Masters. However, his aspirations were dashed when he faced the formidable Tony O'Shea, losing in three straight sets. This encounter served as a prelude to the challenges that awaited him in years to come. The year 2010 marked Prince's debut in the prestigious BDO World Darts Championship. Seeded seventh, expectations were high, but fate had other plans. A first round clash against the eventual semi-finalist, Martin Phillips, resulted in an early exit for Prince. This setback hinted at the unpredictability inherent in the world of professional darts. Not one to be disheartened, Prince bumped back in 2010 by claiming the Isle of Man Open title, overcoming Joey Tenberg in a thrilling contest. Yet, success proved elusive on the grand stage of the BDO World Darts Championship. In 2011, Prince, seeded 16th, faced a 1-3 defeat at the hands of John Walton. Despite expressing reservations about his ability to continue due to work commitments, Prince persisted, setting the stage for a tumultuous turn of events. In 2012, Prince qualified for the BDO World Darts Championship, facing Willy van der Veel in the first round and suffering a 3-0 defeat. This match unexpectedly thrust Prince into a match-fixing controversy, shaking the foundations of the championship. Rumours of substantial bets on specific scores, especially 3-0 and 3-1, cast doubt on the game's integrity. The fallout triggered unprecedented investigation, leaving fans and players in disbelief. As the World Darts Championship approached its grand finale, chaos ensued. Gambling bosses launched a probe into disturbing allegations surrounding the Prince vs Willy van der Veel match in the lakeside. The spotlight focused on the contest that ended 3-0 in favour of the Dutchman. Free Willy van der Veel, despite elimination in the subsequent round, Van der Veel remained unscathed, not under investigation. However, suspicion loomed thick as an unusual surge of bets predicting the 3-0 scoreline flooded in just hours before the match commenced. This sudden betting activity prompted major bookmakers, including Ladbrokes and William Hill, to take unprecedented action. In response to the influx of wages and the subsequent drop in odds, both bookmaking giants decided to suspend betting. Adding fuel to the fire, Ladbrokes and William Hill opted to withhold payouts on winning bets. The Gambling Commission and the British Darts Organisation swiftly launched an inquiry, indicating that the investigation could potentially involve law enforcement. This scandal dealt a severe blow to the sport, casting a shadow over the much-anticipated BBC televised live world final, expected to draw a massive audience of 2 million viewers. As the controversy unfolded, Prince, maintaining his innocence, declared he had nothing to hide. In a statement, the BDO acknowledged the existence of betting patterns surrounding the match, expressing an expectation of full cooperation from the affected bookmakers. Amidst the unfolding drama, the spectre of recent spot-fixing confessions by former English cricketer Mervyn Westfield loomed large. Ladbrokes, having detected suspicious betting, reported the incident to the Gambling Commission, highlighting concerns of potential foul play. A Ladbrokes spokesman revealed the abnormality of the situation, emphasising that substantial bets, particularly on the correct score of 3-0 and 3-1 in favour of Van der Veel, were at the centre of the controversy. Overnight, odds of an Van der Veel victory dramatically shortened from 4-6 to six to 1-3, to three, intensifying the intrigue surrounding this unprecedented darts betting scandal. As the news of the suspicious betting patterns surged, Calculated, the darts community was ablaze with speculation. Punters and bookies flooded internet forums, sharing their astonishment at the unprecedented nature of the bets. A user on Betfair voiced surprise, suggesting that the correct score bets for the Van der Veel vs Prince match might have eclipsed the combined betting activity of every other match, all fixated on outcomes of 3-0 and 3-1. The repercussions reverberated through the betting world, prompting major players like William Hill to take swift action. The bookmaker, detecting what they deemed as unusual betting patterns, suspended the market and promptly reported their findings to the Gambling Commission. Similar caution was exercised by smaller firms, with Corbett Sports also opting to suspend the market. Mark Rogerson, a bookie, took to Twitter to publicly acknowledge the suspicious betting patterns in the Van Der Veel vs Prince match, leading to the suspension of betting. Amidst this whirlwind of speculation, Davy the Badger Prince found himself at the centre of the storm. Confronted at his residence in Peterley County Durham, 
Durham, the warehouse worker vehemently protested his innocence. He acknowledged the swirling rumours but maintained a stance, stating, I've heard the rumours and I've got nothing to hide. I can see how it doesn't look good, but I've done nothing wrong. All I do is play my darts and try and win. Despite Prince asserting his innocence, the British darts organisation announced a commitment to a thorough and robust investigation. Players, officials and bookies involved in the controversy are set to face questioning from darts top brass. The BDO, adhering to stringent corruption guidelines, made it clear that if players are found guilty of match fixing, they could face fines of at least £10,000, suspension or expulsion from the sport. Furthermore, they would be subjected to a criminal probe, potentially leading to severe legal consequences, including the possibility of imprisonment. The stakes are high, and the outcome of this investigation could reshape the landscape of professional darts. As the storm of speculation raged on, the British Darts organisation made a resolute declaration. A spokesperson emphasised the BDO's unwavering commitment to safeguarding the integrity of the beloved sports of darts. In a statement, the spokesperson asserted, the BDO takes its responsibility to protect the integrity of the great sport of darts very seriously. To address the concerning situation, the BDO invoked its comprehensive code of practice on betting and related activities, endowing the organisation with expansive investigative and disciplinary powers. Acting decisively, the BDO announced the initiation of a formal investigation, signalling a determined effort to get to the bottom of the match-fixing allegations. In a move highlighting the gravity of the situation, the BDO enlisted the services of legal specialists well versed in this domain to ensure a robust and efficient inquiry. This dual objective seeks to protect the integrity of the sport while upholding the principles of fairness in the investigative process. The scope of the investigation was broad, encompassing all pertinent parties involved in the match, including the players themselves, match officials, bookmakers and other relevant entities. The objective was clear to gather information comprehensively and, based on the available evidence, determine whether there is a case to answer for a breach of the BDO's rules. The spokesperson concluded, it is determined that there is a case to answer. The BDO will pursue it vigorously. Despite the gravity of the accusations and the BDO's promise of a vigorous pursuit, the investigation into the match-fixing allegations yielded no conclusive evidence, and consequently, no actions were taken against Davy the Badger Prince. The cloud of suspicion that hung over him gradually dissipated, allowing Prince to resume his darting career. In 2013, Prince once again graced the World Championship stage, facing Richie George in a nail-biting encounter. The match, however, took an unfortunate turn for Prince as he missed seven match darts, resulting in a heart-wrenching 3-2 defeat. Undeterred, Prince returned in 2014, entering the tournament to the preliminary round. This time, he secured a significant victory, triumphing over Dutch debutant Jurin Gerdink with a commanding 3-0 scoreline. The momentum continued as Prince clinched a 3-0 first round win against Jim Williams. However, his journey was halted in the second round by world number one, Stephen Bunting, who dominated with a 4-0 victory despite Prince's commendable average of almost 90. The resilient Prince faced the lakeside crowd once more in 2022, making a notable return to TV screens. He secured a place in two prestigious events, the inaugural 2022 World Senior Darts Championship and the 2022 WDF World Darts Championship. In the former, he reached the quarter-final after defeating seasoned players like Paul Lim and John Lowe, eventually succumbing to Robert Thornton in the last eight. The latter tournament saw Prince defeating Mark Graham in the last 48, before engaging in a Lakeside Classic that went to the last leg, where he narrowly lost to Welshman Michael Warburton. Davy Prince, with unwavering determination, has weathered the storm of a match-fixing investigation, proving his resilience on the darting stage. The journey, marked by triumphs and setbacks, continues for the Badger, illustrating the indomitable spirit that defines his professional darts career. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.